why is starting a video so hard hi welcome back to my channel um welcome if you're new so today i wanted to tell you every single book i read in 2021 that's it that's the video <laughs> I always find these videos endlessly fascinating. I just can't get enough of just people listing the books that they've read. I'm so nosy and I, and I especially love watching it in video form. I could just scroll through someone's Goodreads, but there's just something, there's just something about the small little comments as well that you can't help but say as you get to a specific book, you know? I just, I love it. I have a mixture of physical books and then I'll be putting up pictures for audiobooks, um, eBooks, books that I have unhauled so don't have a physical copy of anymore, etc, etc, books I borrowed, that kind of crap. I've split this into January to December, so I'll just go through the books I read in January, then the books I read in February, and we'll have a great time. Let's crack on. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I read 56 books this year, last year, 2021. When will that end? January. <laughs> so the very first book I read in 2021 was The Year After You by Nina de Pass. This Green and Pleasant Land by Aisha Malik. The White Tiger by Aravind Adiga. Roller Girl by Victoria Jameson. Such a cute graphic novel. It's Not Like It's a Secret by Misa Segura. That was January. February. My Grandmother Sends Her Regards and Apologies by Kaylin Bayron. Nope, that is not who that is by. <laughs> My grandmother sends <laughs> My grandmother sends her regards and apologies by Frederick Brackman. Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. I'm Afraid of Men by Vivek Shreya. Love in Colour by Bolu Babalola. Tin Man by Sarah Winman. My Friend Fear by Mira Lee Patel. Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. Love this series so much. The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta. Let Me Hear a Rhyme by Tiffany D. Jackson. Taking Up Space by Chelsea Quachi and Ore Ogunbi. March. <laughs> March. Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert, the second in the Brown Sisters trilogy. Exit West by Mohsin Hamid. Parachutes by Kelly Yang. This book. Seriously, so good. Catch and Kill by Ronan Farrow. The Other F Word by Angie Manfredi. This is actually a collection of um, essays. Do You Dream of Terror 2 by Temi O. Oh. The Disaster Tourist by Yun Cohen. Out of the Woods by Luke Turner. Pie in the Sky by Remy Lay. Okay, let's move on to April. So the first book I read in April was The Pretty One by Kia Brown. That's a memoir. Lonely Castle in the Mirror by Mizuki Tushimura. I've heard mixed reviews of this one, but I really liked it. Harbin, The Deaf Blind Woman Who Conquered Harvard Law by Harbin Germer. Last Tang Standing by Lauren Ho. Adam Teen by Hannah Berry. And the final book for April, was Us Against You by Frederick Brackman. This is the sequel to Bear Town. We move to May. Woo the Henna Wars by Adiba Jagadar. The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan Hur. How We Met by Huma Qureshi. I love this memoir so much. Would really recommend this one. And Disability Visibility by Alice Wong. That is also a collection of essays um, by loads of different people. Okay, we are now in June. Woo -woo. The first book I read in June was How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House by Sherry Jones. I have quite a lot of physical books this month. Interesting. Uh, the next is I Wish You All the Best by Mason Diva. Ace of Spades by Farida Abike Iamide. Actually listened to this one on audiobook. Loved it so much. Immediately bought the physical copy. That should tell you how good this book is. And then we have this little book, Amphibian by Christina Noivet. Really, really interesting little novella. This is kind of an epic love story by Case and Calendar. How to be Ace, a memoir of growing up asexual by Rebecca Burgess. And Freshwater by Akwaki Amezi. Okay, so then July, nothing. I didn't read anything for July. August, nothing. I didn't read anything in August. You'll know this if you've watched my stats video. <laughs> so we move into September. The first book I read after my long reading slump was I Killed Zoe Spanos by Kit Frick. I read this on audio. It was a great reading slump breaker. Then I read Show Us Who You Are by Elle McNichol, The Ivies by Alexa Don, and then Kim Ji Young, Born 1982 by Cho Nam Ju. Okay, October. Spooky. Spooky season. Woop woop. The Sad Ghost Club by Liz Meddings. 
The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. Would not recommend. <laughs> Swipe Right for Murder by Derek Millman. Me, My Dad and the End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. 13 by Steve Kavanagh. And the final one for October, Things We Say in the Dark by Kirsty Logan. Loved this queer short story horror collection that me and my partner read together. November. Whoop whoop. In November, I read one book and that was Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. December. Whoop whoop. The first one was a reread, Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. And then Loveless by Alice Oseman. Don't Touch My Hair by Emma Dabry. And the very final book I read in 2021 was Camp by Elsie Rosen. And that is my reading in 2021. It's really weird to see how little books are here in comparison to how many I've read on audio and ebooks and books I no longer have. It, I always feel I'm not reading enough off my shelves and I'm looking over here because that's where my shelves are. Um, but I actually kind of like that there are still quite a lot of books on there left to be read. It means I can come and peruse and really pick something I'm in the mood for. Um, as well as utilising my library. So I'm not too mad about it. That was all of the books that I've read. Have you read any of those? Hope you found this interesting. Bit of a random video, but I just always find these so fascinating. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in a new video. Bye.